Hey everybody, I wanted to do a review on these Shown Design cleaning tools. I ordered two of them. I've got the Yovo uh, connection and the Pilot. He also has Platinum. I didn't uh, purchase that one. And then he's got a few others coming soon, like Lamy and a few others. But uh, they come with these more narrow syringes. I just had the, the wider ones that I connected these to. Uh, and we will compare what the experience is like using these versus a traditional bulb syringe. So let's jump over and see what it's like. We've got the same model. The one has a medium, one has a broad nib, but they're both Jinhao 80s and they have both have Lamy nibs on them and I'm going to use one with the traditional bulb method and then I'll use one with the uh, shown design so let's dive in okay let's start with this Jinhao 80 and first thing I like to do is a little water in the cap. Once I get a good, um, you know, fairly good there, uh, I like to get just a, a cup. This is a fun uh, Comic-Con cup. But yeah, I, I just put it kind of face down so it'll drain. I uh, use a, an old paper towel that's been used a few times. You can see some of the color, uh, but just let it dry in there. Okay, what we're going to do is the, the traditional, so I'm going to get some, draw some water up here. Okay, so I'll fit it in there. here and this is where I've heard horror stories of a really expensive gold nib that got blasted off and uh, down the sink I uh, hate to lose a nib but I these aren't super expensive nibs anyway so but yeah maybe it will just take that experience before I invest in you know Putting something to block the drain. So a couple things. One, I I think the new shown design system will be easier on the hands. Just kind of just easier in general. Besides just saving time. So I think this goes pretty quick using the bulb syringe. I don't know that it's going to just be a game changer time-wise, maybe, um, but I think also just the convenience factor of it, just being able to push and pull water through with the, with the syringe. All right, that's two full bulb syringe worth. Here's my third. Okay, I think I need just one more. Okay, that's pretty decent. I like to use a blunt syringe on these to kind of just blast the stuff out. Okay, that's good. It's where I love cartridge converter pens. They just they clean pretty quick and easy. So I've got it clean. It's still, you know, still wet inside there, but I, I'll reattach. And then 
put the barrel back on. And then for me, I'll, I'll stick this face down or nib down just so that as water is drying, it'll soak up into that paper towel or, or maybe that the paper towel will draw the water out. That's the theory anyway. Okay, now uh, we'll do same thing with this. Uh, see this one, I had some citrus black. So you can see some of this yellowish color coming out, which is kind of fun. Okay, so this doesn't fit. I guess because that's a Lamy nib uh, cartridge converter. I thought this was a standard size, but that is definitely different. So what will work is actually this uh, this pilot. Uh, sorry, this uh, the shown design. This pilot one, I think, will work. It certainly feels like it. So I don't know if that's supposed to work, but it's going to. Okay. Yeah, that is very convenient. Just pushing it out. You can also add a lot more pressure this way, whether that's good or bad. I think mostly good. So I've already done three flushes and it's a similar idea to the bulb syringe, but it's definitely easier. And look how clean that water is getting just immediately. So I am a fan. This is nice. I will have to uh, be careful if that's not supposed to fit though. So let me know in the comments if you are aware with the, the Jinhao 80 uh, where it's got the Lamy style nibs. Maybe it's a Lamy specific uh, cartridge converter size. In fact, just for kicks, I do have this Lamy pen right here. So maybe let's take a look at the cartridge see if that will fit this pin. Yeah, it does. <laughs> okay, so that answers the question. So Shown Design has, coming soon, as, as they say on their website, uh, one of these attachments that's supposed to be specifically for Lamy. Uh, but for now, the, the pilot connection has worked. So that is interesting. I mean, there's, there's quite a difference here, but I think it's just because of the, the outside diameter uh, fit snugly enough within, within this, uh, this element. So how interesting. Let's try it on the Pilot Elite here. And then we've got our Pilot Connection hooked up. So move the cartridge I was using. had diamine earl gray in it you can see kind of coming out there Being able to see the water as you're drawing it up, you can see how much is uh, how much color is in there. So that is really cool. 
and that you have these, these handles to hold on to so that you're, you're pulling that up and really forcing a lot of water through. Okay, so comparing that motion and then just kind of pushing this in to get where, where you can get a good seal on it. So yeah, it's definitely, it's definitely better. Um, and I would say easier on the hands. I could see where Ian uh, wanted to design it. That said, for the average person, uh, is it worth, is it worth $10? I don't know. Okay, so I thought I should show that this pilot connection does not fit on this Lamy pin. So you can try to kind of put it there. You can try to get it to suck up, but it's, it's not a good seal. So you're not going to get uh, very good there. Uh, this connection here is YOLO. This is not going to fit either. So just thought that was worth showing. And because of these little cutouts, it's tough to even use a bulb syringe. Um, you just have to push really hard. You're going to get some that kind of sprays back at you. <laughs> so I a lot of times what I do is kind of use my fingers to guard that. It's not perfect, but definitely, and I am, uh, it's off camera, but I'm spraying some water uh, over on this side a little bit. So yeah, it's, it's kind of messy and I think I've heard of people cutting, uh, cutting this or using a, uh, an old cartridge basically cutting part of that so that when it's attached, they'll use the cartridge as what they're putting the bulb syringe into. So let me know in the comments if if that's what you're doing for your Lummi All-Stars, Lummi Safaris, Lummi Vista, because yeah, this solution is not the best. Okay, well, thank you for watching. Uh, I wanted to give my opinion here just as I close out. I feel like it's, uh, you know, price tag of $10 each plus shipping. Is that worth it for the average person? Maybe not. But uh, I am not sad about my purchase. I feel like it's uh, it's very convenient. It's, uh, it's quicker. Maybe not tons quicker, but enough. And... If you've used a blunt syringe for cleaning things, you know what that feeling is like versus using a bulb syringe. And the the power you can get with this, the ability to, to push uh, water or ink in and out. So for me, I, I just think it's great. So hopefully this review was helpful. Leave a comment if you've tried these tools. Uh, or if you have specific questions, I'd love to try my best and answer those. All right. Thank you very much. We'll talk to you later.